I'm gonna pause my power. As you can see, it plated it everywhere. So I'm not gonna keep plating it for the additional two minutes. And Shazam, there is your gold slide. Keep in mind, I did not go crazy on the sanding and the polishing for this slide. I kind of just wanted it as an example slide just to show you guys the process. I need to spread off all that gold solution because it does contain acids. My bottle. Don't worry, I'll mop all of this up. And boom. This process, this gold plating process would work on pretty much the majority of guns, as long as they're steel. That way, I would also be able to get the same result on stainless steel by just going from electro cleaner, woods, nickel, straight into the gold. I wouldn't have to add nickel. I've seen a lot of people run a four beaker setup and they'll use the electro cleaner, woods, nickel, and then nickel to get like a nickel finish which I never really had any success with that. I, I figured out the hard way that you do need copper strike, but I have seen people somehow run only four beakers. And if that's something you wanna try and experiment before going ahead and spending, what is it, roughly $400 on copper strike, by all means, go for it. I, I never had any success. This is the lab I've had success with. As you can see, it was a quick sand, a quick polish. This is a dummy slide. I'd, it, I'd probably sell it for super cheap on eBay or whatever. Or go to my local gun store and just sell it for the low, you know, like something super cheap. I didn't spend a lot of time sanding between the serrations, which now after it's plated, you could kind of still see, but Still passes. And this is my slide. It's gold, everything's good. And that's it. You can also do an adhesion test to see if it adhered correctly, which I'm kind of iffy about this one. <laughs> Not going to lie, just because I had nickel plated it probably like three times already. And I'm pretty sure I didn't remove all of the nickel. So there might have been a problem. During my sanding, I didn't laser it enough. And on top of that, this is some sticky tape. All of the adhesion tests I see, they do it with like the computer desk office tape. But as you can see, nothing came off. 